Okay, in the previous example, we did a chi-squared example where we had to combine cells because of uh, the chi-squared approximation not really uh, working well for low expected frequencies. A kind of another related problem is when you have a two by two contingency table, and one of the problems that th this approximation, the chi-squared uh, technique is has is that you're approximate you're using a continuous distribution chi squared to approximate a discrete uh, categorical data and this is um this can have problems when you have a two by two um and you know we've got what's called a continuity correction to kind of correct for it now statisticians don't actually agree with how to deal with this but um many uh, still advocate this thing called Yates correction we've written here basically the absolute value of the top bit the kind of residual top bit is reduced by 0 0.5 for each of the cells the absolute value uh, is reduced by 0 0.5 for each one and as I say if you I think um, if you're studying a level check your board I know that they AQA and OCR use Yates I have a feeling that Edexcel don't don't so not and not all boards agree not all statisticians agree but OCR definitely expect us to use Yates if you've got a two by two contingency table okay so here we have an example of such uh, such an example and we've got to write our hypothesis. And I say the two, we can either use the word association or more commonly, uh, I'm seeing the word independent used. Um, so you can use either really, but uh, H naught is that um, the, um, the day, uh, a developer shopping mall sponsor study of shopping habits. So shopping habits, are independent of whether shopper is city dweller or country dweller. Okay, let's look at it a bit. H1 is the that they're not independent. Shopping habits are not independent. on city or country dwelling. Okay, so there's, and I say, if you're, use, if you're using the word associate, it kind of goes the other way, um, uh, are not associated, you would say using this, one or and you would use the word associated in this one i must admit in the new syllabuses for ocra i am seeing the word independent more frequently than associated and it said except associated but anyway let's get on with the test and we're using this thing called yates so the first thing we need to do is work out our expected frequencies i'm going to pull down that table and then we'll add the rows and columns so just to remember to add the rows and the columns so we've got 42 here we've got 58 here and 35 and 65 and just checking that they both come to 100 rows and columns and they do so when we're working out expected frequencies remember i say i tend to i often use kind of intuition because you can kind of like do ratios you can say that this is going to be equal to um 42 over 100 
100 times 42 over 100 times 65 over 100 but what you find is the actual 100 cancels so it's a number of rows a row total column total times column total all over grand total so if we work that out for the for this cell for example for ei we're going to get 42 times 65 divided by 100 which works out to be 27.3 and 35 times 42 divided by 100 which is 14.7 and then 65 times 42 divided by 100 that's 37.7 and 35 times 58 divided by 100, which is 20.3. So these are my expected frequencies. So now this is where the Yates thing comes in. Okay. Okay, so I've written the formula in there. And just as I say, the there's just worth knowing, it looks complicated, but it really isn't. It, we're just reducing the absolute value inside the square by... 0.5 and it gets actually even better than that because of the the fact that it's two by two so any you know any difference here will be compensated by the difference here so you know you've got if you've got a positive kind of residual here you'll have a negative here and a positive and a negative uh, positive here and a negative here and they'll have to cancel each other out and they'll have to be the same so um hopefully you'll see what i mean so let's write it out anyway so we've got um this is oi minus so that's 23 minus 27.3 minus 0.5 all over ei which is 27.3 plus 14.7 uh, 19 minus 14.7 Take away 0 0.5 squared over 14.7 plus 20.3, uh, 16 take away 20.3 minus 0 0.5 squared over 20.3. Let's just make a bit more space here. So plus bracket um, OI minus EI, so that's um, 37 point, uh, 42, I keep saying them the wrong way around. It wouldn't matter, of course, because we're modulating it. 42 uh, two minus 37.7, take away 0 0.5, it's preferred to be quick, consistent, OI minus EI over 37.7. Right, right. Before kind of bodging, just going straight for the calculator here. What I said is that you know with Yates because it's two by two, any these numbers on these numbers here should all add up to the same thing because it's a two by two table. So here we've got um, twenty three minus twenty seven point three take away zero point five, and that is coming. That's equal to 4.3, but taking away 0 0.5, that's 3.8. And it's worth checking, but they should all be 3.8. So I suppose if you're clever, rather than just working these out all individually, We can just say that's the same as 27, 1 over 27.3 plus 1 over 14.7 plus 1 over 20.3 plus 1 over 
plus 1 over 37.7. You don't have to do that, but it's certainly a good idea to check that each of these add up to 3.8 rather than just working each of these individual out because it will smooth out any errors in your in putting things in the calculator. Anyway, when you add all of those together, the numbers so it comes to 2.606. Okay, so and then we can just put in our do our hypothesis test and look look for our tables. Well, the degrees of freedom is obviously one because we've got a two by two table and we can see that in our 3.8 reoccurring at the top there. So um, there's one degree of freedom because it's two minus one, two minus one and that equals to one. So we need to look for and our test was at a 10 percent significance level. So looking at 10% or 0 0.90 with 1 is 2.706. So let's write that in a graph. Okay, let's write a graph for that. So we've got 2.706, our chi-squared with 1 degree of freedom at 0 0.9 is equal to 2.706. Let's draw our chi squared graph it's going to look more like a kind of exponential graph because of the degrees of freedom and our critical value is 2.706 but we've got a value of 2.606 Coincidentally, they seem kind of similar numbers, but it's just pure coincidence. Um, but it's just about, uh, it's, it, this is the critical region. Those are the values for which we would reject H0. So we do not reject H0. Now, it's a, um, it's a bit of a strange double negative here, but, um, and this is where the word independent perhaps is not. It might be nice if we've used the word association. Could We, we could say that the, there's insufficient evidence to suggest that the, there is an association between but, uh, this rather than there is insufficient evidence evidence to suggest uh, the type of shopper or what's the word shopper shopping habits are not independent are not independent of dwellings, home dwellings. Okay, or well, we, if we'd use the word associate, perhaps a little bit less uh, of a mightful, there is insufficient evidence to suggest shopping habits are associated with home dwellings. But uh, that's hopefully covers in these three examples what we want to, what I wanted to cover uh, first of all the first example uh, was just uh, one where there was no combination of cells and it was just straight uh, quite a lot of calculations to do but there was no combining of cells no combining of uh, categories second example we were combining categories because the expected values were below five. And on the third example was a Yates example because we have a two by two, uh, two by two table, which we use as kind of Yates adjustment to allow for that. Okay, hopefully this has been useful to you. Bye.